That looks like a pompano. Maybe. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, well, that's, we're having the... Oh. Go, 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 go. All right, good morning, guys. The sun is about to come up. So you can see on the horizon there, maybe. I uh, don't know if you can tell or not. I've got all the rods set up. I'll run through real quick what we've got going. I just wanted to have everything prepped so right at daybreak I could get baits out. Got a perfect looking morning here in Navarre Beach. So uh, let's go look. Of course, I got frisky fins, pompano rigs on all three of my setup. Uh, I've got a four ounce Sputnik from frisky fins on here. And I've got live sand fleas, shrimp fish bites, and uh, easy flea fish bites on this one. And this is on my white rig white bead, white float, rattle rig from Frisky Fins. I like to call it the snow rig. And of course, it's on my Ninja Dagger 11 foot and my Florida Fishing Products CE Osprey 4000. The other rigs are set up just the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these baits out. It's about light enough to film. So let me get these out, we'll get started. All right, we got all our baits out. We're ready to go. I think I'm getting a bite, maybe. Yep, I am. I am getting a bite. All right, let's see what's going on here. Hey guys, if you do enjoy this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Oh, did he come off or is he on? No, he's on there. Okay, good, we're on. All right, finally, jeez, took, oh. Did he pop off? Can't tell. It's doing weird stuff. God dang it. Catfish was the absolute last thing I was looking to catch. So I just let it go and decided to try and regroup and get ready for the next bite. So I'd gone a while without a bite and I was snacking on a chicken leg, and then it started. I was having trouble determining whether there was actually a fish on the line or if it was just my Sputnik weight dragging the bottom. I'm glad it wasn't a catfish, but it still wasn't a species that I was targeting today. Huh. Caught a grunt in the surf. Okay, that's a different catch for surf fishing. I wish I had my big rod. I'd put that guy out whole. That's a pompano. That looks like a pompano. Maybe. What is going on? Is there not a, it's a little, what do we got? Oh, nice whiting. All right. It's not bad. Definitely better than a stinking catfish. I will take a nice whiting any day. All right. All right, guys, got a nice whiting, also known as a Gulf King fish. We're gonna throw this guy in the cooler. What do you think you're doing? Get away from my stuff. Okay, here we go. That's gotta be a pompano. That's gotta be a pompano. Well, maybe catfish. It's feeling catfishy, dang it. Ah, uh, don't be a catfish. Oh, no, another nice whiting. Well. Dang it. 
Maybe I should have kept that last one. Well, at least we're catching something. Another nice little whiting. We're gonna go let him go. Both whiting have been on the sand flea fish bites and a live fish bite, live sand flea. Are they both getting hit or is it just this one? Oh, that one's for real. Okay. No, they were both getting hit. The one I just put back in the rod holder had a fish on too. Now this is feeling like a whiting, which since I made that prediction probably means it's gonna be a catfish. No, another big whiting, golly. Now I'm wishing I would have kept them. It's another nice whiting. They're pretty fish. Pretty cool. Dang it. Could have had a whiting fry. Put one big one and one little one. I've noticed that some days pompano want big sand fleas and some days they want small ones. Oh, that might be a pompano. How many times have I said that already? Can't tell if there's even anything on there now. Yeah, I guess there's something on there. It's not a pompano though. Well, start fighting now all of a sudden. A little weird. All right. Now that's all right. I'll take that every day. Got a nice whiting double. I guess it's not gonna be a pompano bite today. It's gonna be a whiting bite. That's all right though. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, come on, come on. Don't, don't fall, don't lose it. Yeah, that's a pompano. That's a pompano. Yeah. Jumping on top. Finally. Woo! That's a stud. Yeah. Oh, man, took a while, took a while. All right, guys, we got our first pompano of the day. Took a while to get it, but he's nice, fat keeper size. So we're gonna go throw him in the cooler with the whiting. Yeah, he's about 14 to the fork. Awesome. All right. Get some sand fleas on, get them back out. I think we got another pompano. Think we got another pompano. It wasn't acting like one at first, but I think now it is. Wow. Or a redfish. Could be a big pomp. Oh man, another big one. Holy cow. This is bigger than the last one. Nice. Just a late, oh, he just flipped me. Just a late bite today. All right, guys. Pomp number two, ouch. 
Guess it's just a late bite today. Something's on there. Can't really tell what it is. Maybe whiting? Not sure. What we got there? Oh, we got another keeper whiting. All right. Not giant, but he will eat. And he didn't get my sand flea. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a little trick after I cast this one out. You see most people, they'll put their rod down the rod holder like that, okay? Well, Pompano, as soon as they get hooked, a lot of times they like to swim in toward the beach. Your line goes slack, your pole never even moves. It just stays there. And then you don't notice it until you see your line slack laying on the beach. So, what I like to do is put tension Use that Sputnik sinker to hold tension on the line. You raise your rod up. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you lose tension and it swims in. You're going to notice that. You're going to see that and you're going to hear it. So it's just a little added thing to help you not miss bites and be able to tell when you've got fish hooked. Oh yeah, I think it's another pump. This is heavier, yep. This is definitely pump. All right, number three. Oh, come on, come on, come on. He's swimming in, swimming in. All right, stay on. Haven't lost one yet today. Where's he at? Oh, no, it's a big whiting. Nice fat whiting. Wow, all right, I'll take it. All right, guys, nope, trying to get away. Got another nice whiting for the cooler. We're gonna throw him in, get the bait back out. So the bite pretty much died down after that and I loaded up, went home and decided to come back uh, during the eclipse. And that was a good decision. Right. Good afternoon, blustery eclipse day. Holy cow, the wind is howling, the waves are crashing, and we've got, I'm not gonna look at it, but we got a solar lunar eclipse going on. So uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see how the fish bite. I used to introduce them as Pompano Brock, but now I gotta introduce him as Captain Brock. Captain Brock, what's up? <laughs> All right, so that, that gives us some hope. Somebody was catching fish, so uh, let's get our stuff set up. All right, we got our frisky fins, Sputnik weight, five ounce. So same setup as the other day, Florida Fishing Products, Osprey 4000 on my Ninja Dagger 11 foot with frisky fins, rigs, and I'm using live sand fleas and shrimp fish bites and sand flea fish bites. Oh, come on, come on. Ah. Okay, he's there. It's not wholesome. Doesn't feel very big though. Does not feel very big. Feel yeah. Or catfishy. You know, it usually goes side. Nope, it's pomp. It's good pomp. All right. Big pomp. Oh, hell yeah. All right, guys. 
We got a nice pompano here. And he didn't even get my flea. No, oh, come on, stop it. Stop it. So I was just bringing the pump over to see if Scott or Brock wanted to keep it when this happened. Oh, damn. I just get another one? Yeah. Skull coming through. Hey, are you keeping fish? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not keeping any, so that's yours. Sure? Yeah. He's bigger than I thought. Oh, did he come off? What's going on here? Is he swim oh, he's swimming in. Okay. All right. Number two. Sweet. All right, guys, had a quick double hook up there. So luckily it wasn't exactly at the same time, but maybe the bite's kicking on, school came through. So uh, Scott's gonna keep these. I'm not keeping any fish today, but I'm gonna leave these with him. So hopefully that's just the beginning. Yeah, well, that's, we're having the, oh. Go, 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 go. Ah, dang. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, that middle one's really short. Yeah, he's got a little beef on him. I don't know, look and see. Am I, am I under? Okay, thanks. There you go. Should be good now. Yeah, I hope you don't cross that other line. Now that one's way out. Okay. Oh, Dang. Yeah, man. He's digging. That's a fatty. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Woo. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Dang, he's not even that big. He fought hard, man. Like, yeah, I thought he was gonna, on the and that was on the shrimp. On the green fish bias, there you go. You mind throwing that in the yeah, rod holder for me? Thanks. All right, guys, bite's heating up. This is number three in about an hour, so hopefully it keeps going. The way he fought, I thought he was gonna be giant. All right, that one was on the fish bites. Uh, the green, the shrimp flavor. The first two have been on the easy flea. Oh, damn. Oh, got one, got, got yep. Yeah. Uh. There we go. All right. Oh, he popped off. Damn it. No, he's back, he's back. Wow, he came back for it. Or is he off? No, that's got to be a fish on there. Acting really weird. That's definitely a fish. Sweet, another pompano. Not a big one, but he would be a keeper. All right, guys. <clears throat> Number eight today. We're going to let him go. Watch him swim off. No, we've got plenty of fish at home. <laughs> there he goes.